All right, you guys, so we have our spotted bass here, and the first thing I'm gonna do, just similar to uh, crappie or bluegill, is I'm gonna start up here at the forehead where there's still a little bit of meat, and I'm gonna slowly make a cut that goes down and around that gill plate and underneath the fin there. And I'm gonna continue to go down until I get to about the belly right there. Now I'm gonna rotate my fish around, and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put my blade in until I fill his spinal cord, and then I'm gonna run a very um, shallow cut all the way down his spinal cord until I no longer feel his rib cage. And at this point, that's when we're gonna punch through just like that, and now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna continue that cut by flexing the knife downward against the spine until I get to the tail, but I'm not gonna cut through. The next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna slightly lift up the, uh, the meat here, and I'm gonna slowly cut down until I hit the rib cage. Once I hit the rib cage, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna slowly run my knife uh, up against the rib cage and around it. Wow, you guys, look at this. Look at this fillet right here. This is pretty incredible. Eventually what we're gonna do is we're just gonna get to the point where we have the fillet connected to the bass itself by the tail. Now, when I flip that over, what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna grab my longer fillet knife because it has a little bit more bend to it, right? And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna slowly just make a cut and then bend that knife up against the skin and I'm just basically going to do slow cut sawing until I've removed all of that meat from the skin itself. Look at that beautiful filet. Right, let's go ahead and flip this over and let's do this one more time so you guys can see it twice. What I'm gonna do this time is I'm actually gonna start my cut below where the belly is below this fin and I'm gonna cut and angle my knife toward the head around the gill plate and up toward the forehead. And just like before, I'm cutting inward so I can keep a lot of this meat that's up on the shoulders. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make a cut up against the spinal cord and just lightly cut down the spine of the fish. We're not going deep here. And as soon as I don't feel that rib cage anymore, I'm gonna cut all the way through, just like that. And now I'm gonna flex my knife and I'm gonna cut down to the tail and I'm gonna stop before cutting all the way through. We're gonna go ahead and rotate the fish just a little bit so I can see that white meat and I'm gonna cut down to the rib cage until I feel it. And then once I get to the rib cage, I'm gonna turn my blade and I'm gonna start to slice around the rib cage, letting the blade slide, okay? Um, and it'll slide down. Let's make sure that's all cut, there we go. And we're gonna continue to slide until we get to the very bottom, right there, okay, cool. Now we're gonna go ahead and rotate this over. I'm gonna grab my larger knife, and what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna cut down, flexing the knife again so it's up against the skin, and I'm just gonna saw until all of the meat has been detached from the skin. And voila, we have two beautiful boneless fish fillets. Look at that white, beautiful meat. That's how you do it, people.